it's uh, raining inside. Don't worry about it. No, please, it's a good song. Please don't play it again. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends beyond the binary, hello and welcome. Are all the things moving the way I want them to? Yes, it is. Uh, yes, it is, Paul. Um, I'm Christy. It's it's stream time here on here Monday. Doesn't really feel like Monday. I had the whole day off, and I have tomorrow off too because I had floating holidays that expire at the end of the year. So I was like, "Fuck it." Um, I got a whole bunch of stuff done. Uh, maybe I'll talk about that later. I got other things to talk about first. Um, the most important part uh, is that Black Lives Matter, that Indigenous lives matter, that the lives of people of color matter. Um protests are ongoing in this country as they have been four months um, as uh, black Americans uh, although not just Americans all over the world have been uh, battling for things that should not have to be battled for for basic uh, rights basic human decency uh, equal treatment under the law and all the things that uh, I, even as a transgender white woman, take for granted. Um, it's also Indigenous Peoples Day. Uh, happy Indigenous Peoples Day, everyone. If uh, you have a statue of Columbus in your town, uh, maybe go look at it. Th that's all I'm going to tell you to do, is just sort of identify where it is. Um, maybe see if there are any harbors nearby, you know, to take a walk along. Um... If you uh, wish to, uh, if you have uh, extra time, money, or energy, um, please do find a way to give to the ongoing civil rights movement. If you bang donate uh, in chat, you will see a list of places that are helping protesters on the ground. Although, if you there are other ways, uh, if you are if it is safe for you to be signing petitions, please be signing petitions. If it is safe for you to be directly helping protesters in your area, please do that thing. Uh, and if you bang Taylor in chat, uh, you will see a list of organizations that are giving directly to help um, people directly benefited by the death of Breonna Taylor. Please, uh, please find some way to help. Uh, let's... Let's all of us pull together for, for goddamn once. Um, that is that. There is never a good outro. I'm sorry. Um, let's talk about the music, I guess, for just a second. That was A Thousand Light Years Away, performed by Chelsea Lee Greenwood, uh, written by Nick Popovich and Maddie Green. Uh, that is the ending song to Slime Rancher. It plays over the end credits. Um, I, I say that, as kind of a lead into the fact that I have, like, the Slime Ranch that you are going to be seeing is pretty much the top level Slime Ranch. I'm, I'm not trying to say that I'm the best Slime Rancher, although I am factually the best Slime Rancher. That's, that's just a real thing. Uh, yeah, I'm at maximum ooze. Uh, so when I, uh, I'm trying to warn you, uh, if you've not played Slime Rancher before and you're the sort of person who would take uh, seeing kind of the ma the like final final form upgrades of a bunch of stuff as being a spoiler, it, this is going to be a spoiler for you. This is your warning. Um, if you need to duck out, duck out. But uh, if you want to stick with me, I I'm not going to be going through any of the narrative at all. Um, but, uh, we're just going to be walking through a bunch of the, the set, and I have a little side ranch project that I'm hoping you all can help me with. So I'm going to click this button. Hey, uh, Andy. Hey, Mox. Hey, Katie. We're gonna ranch a slime. Why aren't you ranching a slime? Because I haven't used this frame since uh, I was playing Doom, and it still says it wants to capture Doom. But it's wrong. Nothing can capture Doom. Doom's completely unconscionable. This might take a second to load. It, it takes a second to load, sometimes. 
It might look like it's frozen, but that's just how it how it looks when it's loading. And it might seem like it looks like it's frozen for longer than you think it should. That I'm I am here to tell you that is just how this game loads. At least on my computer. Maybe I have it wrong. I just peaked the mic real bad. Let me see if I can't find a way to fix that while I'm waiting. I can just tank my yeah, I can just tank my uh, my mic volume a little bit. Thank you, Katie. This icon indicates saving in progress. Well, it did load. There it is. Uh, so we're going to take... Check out the slime moon. What if the moon were a giant slime? It would look about like that. Uh, oh, gosh. Let me have a look at the options. Oh, yeah. Field of view 75. Let's just crank that to 90, which is the maximum. Huh. Um, hmm. Why didn't I check that? So here's the thing about this. We're going to start off with this being the way it is. And if I get people in chat saying, hey, this is bad for me, and I can't watch it, then I'm just going to duck out on this and move to the next thing. I have, an, I have a next thing already in mind. Um, but I did kind of just want to have a look at where the slimes live. Hi, Xenon. We're a... Uh, hey. Uh, so this is just kind of basically how Slime Rancher is. There's a, there's a bunch of these goopy bastards all, uh, around the environment. Uh, and they intermix and they try and find food for themselves. And when they eat the food, they poop out these little crystals. We could sell the crystals if we wanted. I don't particularly need to anymore. Like I said, very upgraded. Um, but there is all sorts. The little pink ones are kind of the basic ones. Then you have, uh, phosphor slimes. Uh, we'll, we'll get into those a little bit deeper here in a second. How's this looking to everyone? I also love the little wingies. Um... Is everyone feeling reasonably okay with this with this setup? Uh, it looks good to Andy FOV wise. That's nice. I guess this is a good place to start. I won't be watching, but I'll keep moderating. I'm sorry. I wish I had thought about it further. The slimes are our friends. This one's my best friend. You can tell because it's number one. Uh, so you saw some slimes combining out there. You can, uh, if you're starting to ranch them and keeping them in, uh, in little pens and stuff, you can choose how they evolve by feeding them the kind of, uh, the kind of plorts you would like them to evolve with. So this is a mosaic tabby largo. It started as a little cat, and then I fed it the very shiny jewel one. And then I gave it sunglasses. So, again, a good place to start. I've littered the ground in front of it with these, uh... With these sort of fruits here. Because... Sometimes Kitty gets hungry. Eh, Kitty's hungry now, actually. Let us feed Kitty. Yep. There you go. I forgot that the feed is called plorts. Oh, yeah. So here's the other thing about the mosaic slimes, is that they drop these very pretty sparkles. And the very pretty sparkles do explode, is the problem. We're about to see some more of those here in a second. Uh, so this is a good place to start, actually. Let's start all the way back here. I'm just going to throw this chicken into the sea. 
I don't know why I did that. Fun, I suppose. Chickens need a bath sometimes. Speaking of chickens, here's where I keep them all. Um, there's a whole bunch of kinds. You got your regular chickens. You got your briar chickens, what live in the briar. You got your stone chickens, what live on a mountain. And you got your painted chickens, what live in the desert. Um, a lot of the game is just collecting, really. It's a tuna now. Correct. <laughs> I think I got to where I had pink cat slimes and decided I had peaked, so it's amazing seeing all of this. Well, uh, have a look at my good friends here. So each of my uh, slime pens are uh, like hybridized slimes because I'm, I'm a person who likes... Um, oh, what's the word I want? It's it it's where the thing it's where you make the things so that they do it the best. There's a word for that optimization. Uh, so I wanted to have like access to every type of port just in case I needed it for some reason. So uh, everyone's two different types of slimes basically. In here we have the quantum hunters. Hunters being kind of like raccoons and quantums. Uh, not existing in a state either here or there that send out little um, ghostly images of themselves. So that's fun. Damn, Badro got to the chicken of the sea joke first. I'm so sorry. And... There's not, a, each pen has about six in it. There's not too many because it always makes me feel bad when they're crowded in too much. And then, speaking of hunters, Laredo should be around here somewhere. Oh, there you are. So I do have the one free-range slime. Who's a hunter, which means he's actually, ah, quite difficult to find. Oh, you found some sunglasses. I didn't put those on you. I'm glad you're having a fun time. Um, I got to end game with the upkeep and the robot optimization, yeah. All of my, uh, so, speaking of robots, that's what these are. They're drones. They're water-powered. Oh, hey, Laredo, you come to see me fill up the robots? Okay. Be safe. Uh, all of mine are just doing, um, feeding. Like, this one is just getting lemons from the lemon tree to give to the quantums, and pears from the pear tree to give to, uh, these fellows who are... Mosaic dervishes, they're like the planet Jupiter, except deadly. And also, they make tornadoes sometimes when they're excited. Laredo is a raccoon slime. It's the unevolved, or not unevolved, because it's not like a line. But they're the basic version of this. If I were to feed Laredo a uh, quantum plort like I get out of these, uh, he would turn into one. I did say that, didn't they? I actually don't know how deadly the planet Jupiter is, particularly. <laughs> Very excitable today is Laredo. Um, which way around should we go? This way, I guess. Jupiter is extremely deadly, that's good to know. I guess it's a gas giant, hey? You can't breathe up there. Also, it makes tornadoes, that's good. Oh, the radiation will kill you long before the extreme gravity and equally extreme weather get the chance. Oh, no. Um, so this is the main area of the slime ranch. Where you, uh, where you kind of start out. You have to, like, unlock the, the three bits around here. I'm just going to go ahead and refill my bots. Uh, so I chose to hybridize the slimes basically... Like, based on how awesome I thought they looked. 
So these are rad crystal slimes. I will start taking tick damage if I get in that green area, and I will start taking just regular damage if I touch the spiky bits. They are very dangerous, and I love them. Uh, over here we have the Boom Phosphor Largos. They're just... They're the little glowy slimes that we saw earlier, only they have extra explosion added to them. Uh, you'll notice their cage is darker than the other cage. Because... They only come out at night, do Phosphor Largos, and if they're not in a darkened cage when the sun comes up, then... They just kind of go away. Jupiter, like its mythical namesake, is toxic to all life as we know it. Rad. I can't wait to go one day. Uh, here are kitten slimes. Kitten rock slimes. They have a ball of yarn. You know, to play with in case they get bored. And their favorite music. Uh, so there's, like, honey slimes... And also there's flower slimes, and I thought it would be funny to put them together to make it sort of a one-stop shop for bees. So that's where they're at. Uh, I already refilled you. Let's go out to the lab next. I wanted to set foot on Ganymede ever since I played Target Earth as a kid, and I swear that makes sense in context. I've made Oddishes, oh no. I have collected some superb friends. And the slimes aren't bad either. That's, a uh, That's boom roasted for all of the- all of the people in chat that I know and like. Um, I just- here's just some regular pink slimes. They are, uh... You need a lot of pink plorts to do science with. To just make, uh... To just make some... Some mechanics with. You need a bunch of pink plorts to make, like, the drones you've been seeing, for example. So I just have some regular ones out here. Uh, over here is the incinerator. Uh, anything you have that you don't want, you can just turn into ash. Uh, and the ash is the only thing that fire slimes will eat. So, we got some fire slimes in here. Uh, one of the drones takes some of the excess lemons and throws it in here so that the... Oh, that's about to happen, too. There you go. Good, delicious ash. Ah, the one-by-one one lava square in every Minecraft basement I've ever made. Just a nice place to throw stuff. Bored and hungry are the two statuses that'll make slimes dangerous, and they're like me in that way. I hope you're neither bored nor hungry. Because we got a long way to go. Here's the puddle slimes. They live in the water. They have a rubber ducky. You know. Just so they- just so they can. And then in here we have the saber... ...slimes. So I was ki I'd kind of filled up the rest of my lot, and I was at a loss of what to do with this room. And then I found, a uh, Saber Island. It's not called that. Um, there's a type of slime that doesn't exist anymore. In its, like, small form. Uh, but the... On Saber Island, there's a bunch of hybridized versions of it as kind of descendants of the of the ancient primordial one. So I made three different uh, Saber hybrid species. We got the Saber pinks in here. Just gonna fill you up with water. Let's go get the other one too while I'm thinking about it. Uh, the... Mosaic sabers with all the attendant explosions and sparklies. Uh, and then crystals, because they were the easiest to feed. 
No, don't. I know you want to play, but you're made all of the spikes. You're ma you're all made out of so much spikes. <laughs> Gay sabers. Gabers. Thank you. That is correct. Uh, so that's my ranch. There's a bunch of other shit that I could, like, show off, but uh, I don't think any of it is terribly interesting. How did you get off of there? Hey, now. I'm glad you're happy. Please, please go back on the, the number one headband. Thank you. Mm-mm. Pardon me. Uh, so where I wanted to go with this today is right in here. So, uh, one of the other things you can do in Slime Rancher is, uh, talk to your neighbors. And a couple of them, if you, uh, do enough favors for them, they ask you to do, like, a special thing. Uh, where you get to come to their sort of island and fuck around. This is the Saber Island, by the way. Uh, if I went through here, I would, uh, go to the place where all the big saber ones live. But they all fucking hate me, so I'm not gonna. And, uh, again, I'm not dealing with the narrative in any way, but if you, uh, do all the stuff for them that they want, you learn a lot about them, and eventually they open up their little little space for you. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six plots. Uh, which to my mind means that there's four places for slimes and two places for crops to feed the slimes with. Why do they hate you? Oh, they're just angry. Yeah, they're hungry and angry all the time. They're just, they're just big, and there's only one thing they like to eat, and it's me. Yeah, yeah, they're, they mad. They're, they're big and mad. And explosive. And pointy. Why did I come here? I said I wouldn't. How's the slime farm in business? Hi, Riz. It's going real well. I was just showing off, uh, my farm or my ranch, which I'm very happy with. But now, let's talk about our ranch. I found out you can turn off the slimes that try to hurt the other slimes now, I think. Yes, yes you can. So, uh, I'm playing on that mode, by the way. Uh, so, when slimes get big, the, uh, the like the kind of slimes I have in my huts back here. Uh, if they eat a type of plort that isn't one of theirs, they turn into something called tars, which are just big and uh, goopy and gray and absolutely despise you. Uh, and you have to fight them off with water, huck them into the sea. And... They get so fucking out of hand, like, so quick. I really dislike it. It made the game actually quite a slog to get through. Uh, there's a there's a mode that turns that sort of antagonist off by default. So it is not possible to make TARS anymore. Couldn't be happier. Only way I got through this fucking game. T-A-R-R-S. TARS. Uh, but for now, what I think I want to do is just kind of walk around the area that exists and all of us can just sort of talk together about what kind of slimes we want on our new ranch. Also, it used to take literally just two slimes in one pen to constantly bounce out, which was instant tar slimes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, they've also, like made it so that you can put a net on top of the on top of the pens now and uh make the pens higher which is really doing a lot to make my state of mind go well so 
So the slimes, they just kind of mix out here. Um, got mostly pink out there and some phosphorus slimes. There's a couple rocks out here. I love brown flavored carbonated cola water. Mmm, that carbonated taste. Uh, no, open that already. I was about to say, can't you just not feed them the wrong stuff? Well, they go after any plorts that they see that aren't theirs, right? Which is why they're, like, hybridizing here in the wild. And if there was just, like, extra plorts laying around, then it gets out of hand real, real quick. Just eating some chickens, like you do. Batter is like, were I a slime rancher, I would simply not feed them the wrong stuff. This isn't what Bad Road sounds like. I'm James from Pokemon. I've decided to give up Pokemoning and instead raise these wonderful slimes. They're just good friends is what they are. Uh, this is kind of the opening area again. Um, this, what I've just gone through, is basically everywhere you can get through initially. So, if you are wishing to avoid spoilers and consider this a spoiler, then your your warning is here. Like your Uber. Your warning Uber has arrived. James Team Rocket Pokemon Breeder AU, except it's just all Grimer and Ditto. And Slagoo. There are a lot of Goopamon. Yeah. It's almost like people can, like, really get behind the idea of amorphous blobs. Also, they're easy to draw. So there's that. I'm just going to drop down into here. Oof. The more pink slimes, they just kind of get everywhere. More kitties and phosphors. We should start seeing... Oh, yeah, there's our... There's a puddle slime. Very nice, very kind. Oh, there's an explosion over here. Which I guess means there's an explosive one. Hey there. Who's the boom slime? Oh, you're hungry. You're just trying to get up there to the head. There you go. Oop. I like how I'm going to suck this up again. I like in their, uh, their, like, profile pic down there. They have this kind of dazed look on their face. Because normally they just kind of look like the rest of the slimes, but when they explode, they do spend a couple seconds just going... Ugh. What's in here? Uh, a gold ornament. I don't... I don't need that. Yeah, they do look a little buh. I also look buh. I disagree. Unless you mean buh beautiful. Got her. Brutal. <laughs> Absolutely trounced. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely taken apart at the geometric level. I was trying to see if there was anything cool back there, because I haven't explored every nook and cranny of the slime kingdom, but most of them. I had the wiki open for a little while. 
Mostly while I was re-watching a video series I'm not interested in plugging. Now here's the honey slimes. Oh, now they're explody honey slimes. So how... Mm, just gonna adjust the mic a little bit. Uh, does anyone have any interesting ideas on how we can combine our new friends and uh, put them in a nice safe pen with uh, all the food and toys they could muster? This is about where the hunter slime starts spawning. Oh, right. I brought... Okay. That's a lucky cat slime. Is there literally any meat around me? No, I looked away and it was gone. Fuck. Oh, hey! I forgot I had you out of here. All right, so this is a resource collector. Uh, this particular one is an apiary, and it spits out uh, apiary-related resources like honeycomb and honey and beeswax, except it's called buzzwax, because fuck. Let me just uh, take a quick teleport back home and uh, throw all this in the, in the place where it goes. Completely forgot I had had that sitting out there. It's probably going to be going for a while now. All the machinery is very happy. I like their little uh, four-legged construction, and I do love the little dance they do. Hi. Hi, Hunter. No. You don't need to, you don't need to fight me today. You don't need to be like this. Uh, Mox likes honeys, but they're plorts. Everybody wants those plorts. Yeah, they go good in basically everything. You can substitute uh, honey plorts for sugar in almost any meal. Um, I don't think I want to go into the wild zone. Because it's all the stuff that you can see before you, except more angrier. I'm just gonna take these chickens in case I come across another lucky slime. And I'm gonna wait for my jetpack juice to fill back up, because I've made that mistake way too many times. Where I'm just going along, do to do running through Slime Town, um, being happy about my day, and then forgot I didn't have enough jetpack juice and just jump out over open water and just fall down and then get back up later because it's a very low stakes game. Let's grab a couple honey pl uh, honey slimes then. There we go. Only the one we found? Uh. Hmm. Certainly there are more. There are, uh... Oh dear, are we losing frames? Um, my side saying that we're not losing frames. If if there are issues, it's on Cox's. Uh, it's on uh, Twitch's end. Well, 
What the fuck is up with any of the internet? Like, Xenon was having this similar problem when she was streaming on Saturday. And it happened to us off and on, like, all yesterday. And not all yesterday, but when we were trying to stream. But, yeah, um... Yeah, thanks, OBS Studio. While you were gaming. Oh no, OBS did disconnect and reconnect. Why? It shouldn't be doing that. Okay. Well, we've just dropped 25 frames. But we haven't dropped more than that. So let's just keep on, and if there are more problems, we will notice them. Uh, there's a big thing over this way. You might notice there's a big thing over this way. Something kind of looks like a boss door over here. Um, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll come back to this. So let's uh, check out some of the, the shorter areas first. I also think Twitch is just bad, which is a shame. No, there's more frames dropping. It's just like little little fits and fusses and fidgets, and I don't know why, and it makes me feel very angry. I wish I could just rely on a service that I pay $90 a month for to be good. To just do the thing that it purports to do. Like, I like the little buzz. Let's grab a bloom plort while we're at it. Can we... What's down here? I feel like I've never gone down here. There's a, uh... Hmm, there's a cave. I feel like I've never been in this cave. What's on the other side of this cave? Where does the cave come out? Uh, this weird little corner with a bunch of chickens. This is their nesting ground. Uh, every summer they come back. To, uh, to mate and frolic. Oh no, there's shit over here. Oh, I guess I meant to come in, like, over this way, grab a whole bunch of, uh, chinkins, and then Ruth, uh, come through the, the pit and come out the other side. I went in by the outdoor is the problem. Which is the name of my autobiography, I think. Excuse me, I'm just gonna take a sip of this drink. And just head back the way we came. Oop. More little... Oh yeah, this is where the drop is. Yeah, I was supposed to go down there. Okay, that's fine. What's level design? I've, I've never heard of it. I say that the level, like, I'm not meaning to, uh, mock Slime Rancher. The level design in Slime Rancher is actually very, very good. Nah, just grabbing some more dropped frames, eh? Um, hey Katie, are you looking at, uh... Are you looking at the ping plotter? We're in pretty bad shape, it turns out. Hmm... I don't enjoy that. Like, it's good for, like, five to six minutes, and then, like, shits itself for four seconds. 
Um, here's where the rad slimes live. And they are rad slimes. The, no, get out of here, rock slime. And that's where a gold slime is. And it's gone already, fuck. It may surprise you to learn that gold slimes drop a bunch of money. Let's have these, uh... Let's get close to one of these cute ones. I like that they have yellow eyes to just really put... to really drive home the fact that they are super radioactive, as if the slowly climbing death bar was not enough of a hint. You get an achievement for standing too close to those, too close to one of those for too long. Um, I thought the crystal ones were over here too. Maybe they're just not out. Let's try to go this way. Uh, oh right, this is the big chamber. So, crystals are through here. There's some chickens back there. You heard them. Don't worry about it. That's just what they're like. Oh, no. Crystals aren't over here. Oh, right. The crystal slimes are on their own island. Let's go look at the crystal island then real quick. I think the entrance is just over here. It's just a very pleasant game. Like, even the fact that I've, like, done everything that it's possible to do, basically, um, doesn't stop me from just logging in for a little while each day just to, like, fuck around and, and watch the, the good friends do a jiggly. Excuse me. So the crystal slimes live over here inside a giant volcano. Uh, along with a bunch of exploding ones. And pink slimes, because you literally can't be rid of pink slimes. Here they are. Vegetarians, the crystal slimes. There you go. No. There you are. Very happy. Such good slimes. Such, such healthy organs that they presumably have. I don't know. Not that interested in slime anatomy. It just kind of seems like a clusterfuck that I don't want to get into. Oh, here we go. I knew I kept these hands around for a reason. And you're about to, yeah, land in the ocean. Whoops. Uh, you get to fuck around with the slimes and find out, and I think that's neat. I also think that's neat. There's, like, honestly not that many kinds of slimes, but seeing how they all, uh, intermingle with one another is, is very fun. Can we go up here? I mean, I can. Nothing's stopping me. That's the power of the jetpack. Ah, here we go. Hmm. I am aware that we are currently dumping more frames. 
And it's fine again. It's just, it's like clockwork, and it's really fucking weird. Oh, hey. I haven't opened this yet. I don't even know what the hell's in it. I got a blue plant for a red teleporter. I can teleport more readily now. Redly and readily. So that's good. It makes me think there's some sort of, like, issue that they're trying to fix in bursts, because it's very regular, and it... It's not as regular as it seems. Okay. I did take a crystal slime along with us on our journey. Also, Beatrix, our main character here, has never fucking heard of, uh, of fall damage in her goddamn life. And I think that's good. Can't swim. Uh, not a strong swimmer, Beatrice. But hey, you can't have everything. Would you prefer to be able to survive from a great height or swim? B pick a choice, because the end is coming. <laughs> Uh, let's head back this way. To the, um... Uh, to the teleporter. And then we can go back to those big doors we saw earlier. No. Quit irradiating me. I understand it's not your choice. Actually, since we're going to the teleporter, let's drop our friends off. Um, at their new home. How the fuck do I get to that teleporter from here? Okay. I had to do a hard reset to get the stream back. Fuck. Hard refresh. That's... I mean, that's not better, the thing you said the second time. Oh. As long as I'm here, let's go ahead and rewater our uh, our robot bee friends. And then we'll head back to Ogden's ranch and make some new pens for our new friends. Just that right there. Can I trick shot? Trick shot! Nope. <laughs> Did not trick shot. Failed to trick shot. Alright. This time for sure it's gonna be a trick shot. I'm just gonna go straight into the air and just... Justice reigns from above these two. Bah! Bah! Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. Splash damage. Because it's water. That's what the term means, I think. It's been a while. Actually, the, uh, the, like, slime vac gun does look a lot like the, uh, like, Farah's arm cannon. And... Thank you, sploosh damage. That's great. Water rains from above. No, that's just how it works. Uh, let's purchase a corral. Here's your... Here's your basic fuck-nothing corral. Let's put a boom slime in it. Put a slime in it. Let's get a couple more, actually. And... Three. Uh, can you upgrade it to an okay corral? Uh, yeah. I think if we give it a high walls, then, you know, that's an okay corral. You could kill, uh, you know, 
10 to 12 people in this corral if you really put your heart into it. I don't know if those are the numbers in play. It's been a while since I've watched Tombstone. Can you give it high balls? I mean, how high do you want them? Because I think there's a limit and then it just stops being fun. Uh, we need food for y'all, huh? You eat meat. You eat vegetables. And you eat fruit, so I'm glad that I've done this well. And thought ahead. Hmm. Uh, there's actually fruit and vegetables on site. Not meat. I need to figure that out, I guess. There's just some nice, very basic carrots over here, and some nice, very basic pogo fruit. They grow everywhere, there's no getting rid of the fucking things. I think I missed some of that. So, the reason why... Oh, I should just install a feeder. Let's do that. So, the reason the feeder's important... Is that eventually the... If you just leave produce on the ground, it will... Uh, it will go bad of its own accord. But... If you throw it in a feeder, the feeder will keep it fresh and spit out just a little bit every now and again, just enough to keep your slimes healthy and fed. There you go. Now, have some more fruit. So here's what I think is going to happen. What I think is going to happen is I'm going to keep going until like 10. And if it's uh, the time that I would usually take a break. And if the and if it's still fucking doing this, the the dropped frames every every little chunk of while, then I'm just going to then I'm just going to say fuck it. And we'll we'll call it and we'll come back to it some other day. Oh, you're very hungry. I left you all this food, but you've eaten. You've eaten all the food. Oh no, I did not leave you enough food. This is my fault. See, that's the problem, is that uh, Langston is a free-range slime because, like, all of the... What Langston eats is chickens, and chickens spawn out in that space. Uh, I forget what I called this one. I made it up on the spot. Um, but it's much harder to, uh, to feed. Because they're just kind of rotating in a circle. Yeah, there's it goes again. Well, I really thought this was going to be a fun, nice time. Uh, okay. Well, we're back to green. And, um... So you should be able to hear me. I can still see the video game pretty well. Okay. Uh... I'm gonna stick by the... I'm gonna stick by the thing I said. Where we'll go another... I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I'll call it, but we'll, we'll go another half hour. And maybe we won't concern ourselves so much with the building up of the... Uh, of the space. But we'll have another... We'll have a quick look around at all of the slime places for the slime people. 
Uh, so here's the, the big boss door that we ran into earlier. I did set up a teleporter just on the other side of it. And this is where... There we go. Oh. Both of those doors closed with that. I thought it was one or the other. This is something that worked for me when I was having this issue, was not looking at the bitrate. If you don't see it dropping to zero, then you don't know it's dropping to zero. Uh, I'm not looking at the bit rate. I'm looking at my dropped frames counter, which is uh, equally panic-inducing. And we'll we'll go for another thirty minutes, and then I'll call it, and we'll we'll come back to we'll try to come back on it tomorrow. Uh, but this is where the quantum plorts or the quantum slimes live. There you go. This is what the, uh, the lemon trees look like, usually. You have to, uh... Mm, you have to shoot a, uh, a fruit into them to get a lemon out, and then you can go ahead and... get lemons and then actually fucking fix the thing. Uh, don't look at that either, that's what I did. You're, uh, listen, y'all are making a lot of sense. You're saying things that I need to hear right now. Yeah, good old, good old phase lemons. Good old quantum lemon. Is it, um... Cardboard or is it pizza? Or is it a uh, lemon that exists in multiple states at once? We'll never know. Because we can't go fast enough? Is that the thing? I don't think that's the thing. Schrodinger Citrus, thank you. That's, you've said Schrodinger Citrus, and I'm glad you've said it. Oh, there's also these all over the place. They're called Echoes, they're just another type of, oh, I've never opened this. Okay. Cool new free tree. Uh, I saw a thread on Twitter, I forgot who shared it, about how Bacchus was a quantum deity. Presumably because he... ...couldn't exist in multiple places at once? I've, I've honestly forgotten what this is. Bacchus is the, um... ...god of revels, yeah? I'm getting that right? Uh, well, I've locked myself off from going that way. Let's just loop around this way, I guess. Over this very, uh, structurally sound and completely safe, literally all the time, bridge. It's so... not a problem. And absolutely... serviceable. Um... Doesn't make me feel bad every time I go across it at all. Makes me very paranoid about my jump juice. It is a very Minecraft bridge, in that it barely works, and makes me feel uncomfortable. Uh, basically, Zagoras died, but mortality wasn't designed to handle gods, so there was just a hole in reality, and Bacchus was that hole. I do not know enough about uh, Grecian mythology to be able to follow this thread. He didn't exist so much as his properties could be deduced by, thing by the way things behaved in his absence. Thank you, Katie. Oh no. Uh, so once we get to the quantum verse, 
we come down here, which was, there's, so these circles that you're seeing, we've gone through a couple of them now, uh, but they're, they're slime gates, they, there's a, a thing with a keyhole in front of them when you first encounter them, they're all open now, because that's where I am as a person. And this one was super fucky to go through. Because you do come out into this big spherical room with a, a glowly platform. That takes you into a ruined version of that self-same platform. <clears throat> I'm just uh, readjusting myself in my chair. You have to squish the chevrons. Uh, what chevrons are you talking about? I'm just really enjoying the... Like I said, I just kind of like getting around in this game. It's it's fun to just move. Oh, the chevrons on the slime gates. Oh, like in a like a stargate. No, they're. It's just one big keyhole that you have to fill with one big key. But apparently they're not so distinct that any key won't work on any door. So there's these things around called Gilded Gingers that spawn in places where this red grass grows, which might be a reference to something. I wish I were smarter a lot of the time. Uh, I, I say that. I'm pretty smart. The Not that IQ fucking means anything or anything, uh, but I... Uh, I maneuver the world pretty well. I just haven't read things that are considered classics. Do the keys vanish when you use them? Yes, they do. Because fuck you. They actually, like, there's this uh, very good animation sequence where the key goes into the thing and then adjusts itself so it fits snugly into the round part around the keyhole and then the whole thing slides into the ground along with the door. So it's not just poof, it's gone without any explanation. It's, it goes into the door and then the door disappears. <laughs> I know about where the red fern grows. Nothing on grass. Where the red fern grows was the thing I was thinking of. Thank you. Those are just carrots. Get away from your carrots. Oh, so... Uh, here's the desert. There's these little flowers all around the desert. I have spent an amount of time... Um, Oh, wait, that's a tabby plot. I don't need that. Get away. Um, mm, I've spent an amount of time uh, bringing a very specific type of water to these plants to uh, make these little oasi. Uh, which is good, because the oasi create the dervish... dervish slimes, the mosaic slimes... They're just very cute. And incredibly deadly. It's a good slime desert, but not a slime dessert. The compression does not like this sand. Just the sand altogether? Oh, that's good. There's multiple types of water. There's actually just the two. There's the regular, like, fine-for-everybody bullshit water that I have currently. Uh, and then there's... Oh, what is it called? It's called Ancient Water or Miracle Water or something like that. Um, that just comes up in, like... Fountains. Uh, I've got one coming up over this way. I'll show you. Um, I feel like we'd be remiss if we didn't have, like, at least one gay slime on our porch. 
So let me go ahead and grab one of the gay slimes. Er, let's go ahead and get a painted hand too. Because their makeup's on point. <laughs> the water was mostly an excuse to play with liquid physics some more. You're not wrong. That's what's so crest about you, is that you're not wrong. No, come here. Before you can eat a plort, I don't want you to eat. Thank you. Can we get another one? Let's get a second one. So, just down here. Is... The... Ancient Fountain? Mystic Fountain? Regardless of what it's called, it gives you ancient water. And you'll notice there's a timer on that ancient water. So, I had to grab it and then come up here to sploosh it on this uh, bud that was out here. And then it grew into the big oasis. And then I was like, oh, okay, I get how this works. And then went and extended it to everywhere else. Ancient water does sound like a scam, like activated almonds or... Um, um, some th other third thing that's a scam. Bread. <laughs> this water won't stay ancient forever. <laughs> See, I would never thought to question it, but now that you've said it, I'm like, wait, it's just going to get more ancient. What's what's wrong with me? Oh, hey, here's ah shit. I need to get rid of um Rooster. Actually, let's get rid of the hen too. Fuck it. And these echoes. I don't actually need these echoes. Have a good time living there now, echoes. So, is that all the types of? slime there are that we've seen. I feel like that... I feel like it is... Oh no, wait, we haven't seen the, um... base version of the, uh... the fucking plant... the plant childs. Which I don't think live over here. I think they're... I think they're yet deeper. Okay. No, that's not it. I thought that was another, um, gilded ginger, and I was like, holy shit, gonna get both of them in the same day. No. No, not today. Not on stream. Can't have that sort of streamer luck. Two gilded gingers in the same day. Uh, lol, lol, lol. 300% epic gamer. Someone clipped me. <laughs> Come on and clip me, motherfucker. There we go. Bouncy little tangle slime. Got all flounder on its head. It's a good slime. They're all good slimes. If you thought I wasn't going to walk that statement back, you were wrong and don't know me at all. Oh, dang. Hey, there we go. That's the last thing I needed to fill up my fucking Slimepedia, was the little painted chickadees. Well, now I've done that. What boy 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 100% Slimepedia live on stream. Cough. Hmm. <clears throat> Um, so I figured that snake oil was a thing that had been sold as... Hmm. I thought I heard a... Like, a gold thing. Uh, so I figured that snake oil was a thing that had been sold as medicine, but it is an actual bodily fluid of snakes? I think both of the things can be true. I don't think that the oil that comes off of a whole ass snake has any regenerative properties. It was usually mineral oil. Right, because snakes are made of minerals. 
Um, there's stuff over here. I'm just going to go and look at it, but that's where the end game lives. I'm not going to be investigating that today. Um, again. <laughs> Are you animal, vegetable, or mineral? Snake. And I have your name, rank, and occupation. Snake. Snake. And, uh... Snake. Apparently the OG snake oil was a Chinese medicine using parts of a local water snake that was high in omega-3 fatty acids. So there actually is... I actually don't know anything about omega-3s. I was about to maybe spread misinformation. Does it actually have anything to do with a body and how good the body do? Just, oops. Very nice. It helps with arthritis and heart stuff, I think. Oh, we're really just losing them now, hey? And it's back. So, hey, if you've enjoyed our most recent uh, flight of not workitude, then please to refresh. Oh, hey, there's the tornado. Yeah, the dervishes just kind of do that. Um, I was wanting to hang out in here for a while longer to see if I could, uh... Wait until, uh... Firestorm happened, but it apparently doesn't wanna... doesn't wanna go. Uh, snake oil, though, was being touted as a cure-all, much like how CBD is now. Only it didn't do as much as CBD actually does. Uh, so that's why they started pushing Omega-3 recently, because boomers started getting arthritis and stuff. That makes sense. Millennials are killing... <laughs> millennials are killing the Omega-3 fatty acids industry. Get arthritis, millennials. Uh, millennials are already getting arthritis, you're correct. So this is how we, uh... Can you hear that? That's just what my wrist sounds like. It just does that. I'm 35 years of age. Uh, you need some more... Paupu fruit. So, there you go. Have some palpu fruit. Go live with Kyrie. No, don't don't run away with it. Alrighty. Um so let's drop our mosaic slime off and what else do we need? What did I what did I take? Um we needed to get like the fucking the painted hens, that's what I wanted, so let's go do that. Was it clicking? Because all my joints do that. Yeah, it was. CBD is good for things like anxiety and chronic pain and nervous disorders, but it's pushed to shrinking tumors and ridiculous shit like that. Yeah. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that CBD doesn't have some very tangible medical benefits. Not as many as stoners would like you to believe. If, if you if you want to do CBD, I'm not going to stop you. And if you're doing CBD to help with a medical issue, that's wonderful. Um, but I've been around a lot of people who are just like, it does everything. I'm mad about how expensive CBD is. There is also that. It is relatively cheap here. There's this place down the street uh, that sells CBD oil for like $20 for a... Uh, how big are those bottles? You're not even sure that was real. Okay. Well. So, 
Let's go ahead and make a coop to store our chickens in. Three roosters, three hens. That's good. And y'all can deal with that. Uh, let's get some spring grass for you to eat and vitaminizers to make into more vitamins. And get you some chicken C-SPAN to watch for when you get old. Good. I didn't remember what CBD was until you mentioned sconers. Yeah, cannab cannabidinol oil? Cannabidol, not cannabidinol. Cabin cabin cabaret oil. Cabinet oil. You know, to make your cabinets look good. Let's get one last corral to put the gay slimes in. Um, please don't take those words out of context. Here's some high walls. And an auto feeder. Yes. I'm just gonna... Put these wonderful friends in here. Uh, the Urk. That's out of food, but could have more. There's food in there for you right now. Uh, so the meat one's taken care of, or will be here in a minute. Oh no, you're hungry. Let's just go ahead and grab one of the... I should have grabbed an extra one. But, hey, that's not the world we live in. There you go. Uh, do you like vegetables? We can fix that. And fruits. They're just both over here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's feed these slimes, and then I'm going to call it a night. Uh, because we did just have another uh, frame drop extravaganza. We're just going to go ahead and figure something out to fix this, because it's a, it's a real shit show, and I hate it a lot. Um, I'm just going to fill our uh, fill our good friends buckets here real quick and that's gonna be the stream I'll just save and quit so uh thank you so much y'all I'm gonna go to the outro screen and just go ahead and uh, pretend like nothing's wrong. So, I've been Christy, um, one of five women who stream on this channel, along with my wife Katie and her sisters Annie and Alice and Sue. Uh, we usually stream six days a week here on the channel, uh, provided that nothing the fuck goes wrong, um, and something might the fuck be going wrong. We'll figure it out, and then we'll fight people in the face and mouth. Um, tomorrow, uh, all going according to plan will be Andrea playing the Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. She's on the uh, extra chapter of the original Ace Attorney with uh, uh, Irma, the forensic scientist, and her sister, the high prosecutor. Uh, that's been a wild time. Please join us for that. Wednesday will be... Um, uh, uh, will be... Hang on, I can get there. I believe in me. It will be Sue with uh, The Surge 2 which continues to be a good game. Uh, so, you know, that wall is coming. She's hunting a monster currently. It's very uh, in line for her. After that will be Thursday. Thursday will be Alice playing Doom Eternal. Uh, I'm going to be sitting in for that, talking about how much I like Doom, talking about how much I love the demons and how they get punched. Um... After that is Friday. Friday is Katie. Katie will be playing uh, Frank Rising, Dead Rising 4. Uh, so join for join us for that. She started off with it um, last time, but there were some complications, and uh, so she's going to uh, try it again, and it's going to go better. We hope. Um, 
Saturday we don't stream, Sunday is community day, and then Monday loop backs around to me. Uh, again, all things being equal, and if everything goes according to plan, uh, I'm going to be playing Tony Hawk's Underground, one of my favorite games of all time, and the best of the Tony Hawk games don't fucking at me. Uh, please join me for that. It's going to be a great time. I, it'll be so fucking good. Uh, we have a stream team, uh, consisting of us, uh, Andemonium Riz plays games in the Land of the Rising Sun, Xenon Fiber, and Bad Road. Yes. And if you would like to see a recap of our schedule and their schedules that they do, you can find that at truckcommunity.neocities.org. And, uh, if you wanted to watch even more of us, uh, we have a YouTube channel at youtube.truck.community that goes back for literal years. Um, it's a lot of fun there. Uh, once again, if you bang donate in the chat or bang Taylor in the chat, uh, it will bring up organizations to which you can give your money uh, to help support our current civil rights movement. Uh, if you were watching this as part of a YouTube VOD, uh, they'll be in the description. Uh, please remember that black lives matter, that indigenous lives matter, that the lives of people of color matter. Uh, and again, happy Indigenous Peoples Day. Fuck Christopher Columbus. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, thank you all so much for joining me. And until I see you next time, stay safe. <laughs>